Okay, here we are into day five. Today's lesson is really short and sweet, but it's gonna work out your fingers, okay? So let's go. All right, let's work out our picking hand. So this is gonna be a little game where we take turns playing each open string of the guitar, okay? And I'm gonna show you how the pattern goes. It goes like this. We'll start with the low E string, and we're gonna go down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so the whole game is to not knock into the other strings, and the trick is to have very, very small movements with your hand, okay? So I'm gonna, I'll do that one more time, and then I'll count you in, and you'll try it. Okay, so listen and watch first on the low E. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, your turn. Ready? One two, ready, go. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good, okay, we'll go on to the A string, do the same thing. So watch and listen first. Down, down, Okay, your turn, I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Nice job, okay, on to the D. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit now. So instead of saying downs and ups, I'm gonna count, okay, like this. One, two, three, Four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so you notice I picked down on all the numbers and up on all the ands, okay? So you try, I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four and nice we're halfway there okay on to the g same deal remember down on the numbers up on the ands like this one two three four one and two and three and four and very small little movements is all you need okay your turn on the g ready one two Ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Good, all right, takes a lot of focus, okay? To really pay attention when you get good at this, and you will, you'll be able to do this whole thing with your eyes closed, okay? You could even try it today if you like. On to the B string, so watch and listen. One, two, Nice, your turn, I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, nice, last one. Here's the E string. One, two, three, four, one, and. Okay, your turn. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Awesome. Nice job. Okay, let's work on strengthening our fingers and toughening up our fingertips, okay? This is a real simple and kind of a quiet uh, exercise. You can cover the strings with your, your picking hand because all we're gonna do is just work on pressing down on the string, okay? We'll start with fret one of the E string and really important, your thumb is on the other side 
pressing on the, the back of the neck. Okay, so you get a nice squeeze. So let's start on fret number one. Curl your fingers up like this. Get on the very tips of your fingers and let's go. Here's fret one. Press down. Good, and let go. Let's go on to fret two. Press down and hold. And let go. Nice. On to fret three. Press down and hold. Good, and then your pinky on fret four. Look, your thumb is on the other side helping you press down. Okay, and press. And then let go. Nice, let's go on to the B string. We're on fret one. Fingers are curled. You can see your, your fingernails. Hopefully they're short. That's gonna help you out, okay, because they do get in the way. Here we go, fret one, press down. Nice, let go. Fret two. Press down, hold, let go, fret three, press down, and then let go, and then finally your pinky, press down, and then let go. Nice. Notice I, I only have one finger pressing, pressing down at a time, the other ones are just kind of hanging out. Make sure they don't, you know, like just fly all over the place. Try to keep them like pretty close and ready to go. Okay, let's go on to the G string. We're on fret one. Look at the back of the neck of my guitar. See that squeeze? Okay, we're on G fret one. Press down. Hold it. Hold it and then let go. Good. We're on fret two. Move your thumb as you need. Okay, so you get some good pressure. Press down on fret two. And then let go, nice. On the fret three, press down. And then let go. And then pinky, press down. And then let go, good. So try to keep um, your whole body relaxed, okay? All the work is being done in your hand and a little bit in your forearm here, okay? So all of your shoulders and everything should be kind of relaxed you know, breathe through it. It's a bit of a workout. Um, if you have a steel string guitar, that probably, you know, stung a little bit on your fingertips, but we got to do this, okay? So we can, we can get to playing. Let's go on to the D string. We're on fret number one. See that? Press down, hold, and then let go. Nice. On to fret two. Press down, hold it, and then let go. Fret three, press down, then release, then your pinky, maybe scooch your thumb up a little bit to help your pinky out, press down, and then let go. Nice, okay, so you may feel as we get over to the, these thicker strings, you have to reach a little bit more, okay? Um, so one thing you can do is, is reach your hand out away from you Arch your wrist just slightly to get that reach, okay? You don't want a flat hand. You want it up and ready to go, okay? Let's go on to the A string. We're almost there. Fret one, press down and hold. Good, on to fret two, press down and hold. Nice, fret three, get as close to that fret as you can, okay? Press down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, nice. Onto your pinky, press down, and then let go, nice, last one. Okay, E string, low E string, fret one. Arch your fingers, okay? Get a nice curl. Press down, hold it, and then let go. Fret two, press down. And then release. Fret three, make any little micro movement you need to make this work. Press down, hold it, and then let go. Last one, finger number four, your little pinky. Press down, hold it, and then let go. Nice job, that's it.
Well, that's it for today. These exercises are very short, uh, but very effective. You can do them anytime you like. If you feel like you want to get some extra practicing in, go ahead and roll this video again. You know, it takes you like 10 minutes or so and uh, gives you some good workouts for your fingers. Okay, nice job. Write that down in your guitar journal for day five, and I'll see you tomorrow.